John, you're looking forward to this weekend's game against Sheffield. Obviously scheduled late on um, with the injury crisis. It might be a game you could have could have done without, but go down there. Of course, you know if we get the if we get the victory, we're only 80 minutes away from from the Challenge Cup final there. So everything to play for. Yeah, it is, and, and regardless, it's it has come at a bad time for us actually. We, everybody knows what we've been like since the Saints game, and, and again last week we picked injuries up last week. But it's, we are where we are with the, with the fixture, so we, we'll we'll put a stronger squad together as we can, and hopefully get seventeen fit bodies this week and, and and take it from there, Jordan. You mentioned that it's it's been a tough period. Obviously, you picked up quite a few injuries in the Saints game, as has been discussed. But you've managed to fetch in a, a few bodies on loan uh, along this in the last in the last ten days, and especially in the last couple of days as well. Yeah, I thought going into the Halifax game we were busted, but I thought if we get through that game, we'll get a, a few bodies back. Uh, but during that game, we lost Liam McAvoy after 30 minutes with a uh, with the injury, and and Conor Alder came off, and uh, Andrew Dawson shouldn't have played. So in, we we ended the game with 13 fitish players, and and lost another three. So right away on the bus on the way back on Sunday, we had to do some digging, and, and yeah, we fetched a couple of lads in. Uh, Marcus Walker from Hull, the centre, so that allow Carl Dixon to go to stand off and and cover where Bish was, and and then we fetched. Uh, Jack Bibian, uh, a front row from Wigan. So this week, was obviously Tom uh, Guy Graham still banned. We lost on Liam. Uh, Jake Bradley's not available. Tom Walker's at the work because he's got the Sunders off and not the Saturdays. So Tom Walker's missing. So I didn't think I'd need a middle this week, but I, I did. So we've had to fetch fetch the young kid in from from Wigan. So it, it's hopefully we'll like you say we'll go down and give a good account by ourselves mate and get ready for the for the league game the week after and obviously you know looking at the likes of Wigan and Hull allowing us to bring players in despite they're going to have a busy Easter period themselves so you've got to you know got to thank, thank them clubs for, for allowing the players to come out as well yeah I know Ashley spoke to Dal Gould in it and, and we are grateful that, that Dal's organised for, for Jack to come up and, and same I spoke to Brett Michel yesterday uh, Brett Hodgson and thanked him for letting us take Marcus and we've got Marcus for a month which is good. He's coming to live here and he's properly integrated into what we're trying to do. So it'll be good. It'll be good learning curve for Marcus coming for a month. Uh, but yeah, and, and it helps with the, the reserve grades. Of, they've got no fixtures for three weeks, so it suits both clubs. They want the better players carrying on playing for when they do go back in, in the reserve grade. Hopefully, for them lads ever go at the, the, the getting in the twenty one for the first team. So it, it suits both clubs. It suits the lads. It definitely suits me with the, how low we are on bodies, John. So yeah, thanks for all the both Super League clubs there. And, and mentioning low on bodies, obviously we know all long term injuries. But when we spoke last time, that they were still waiting for a few results. And the likes of Liam Cooper, we were hoping to have back waiting for results on Chris Taylor and Tom Wilco as well. Yeah, uh, good news about Liam. Liam trained on Tuesday and he's put his hand up this week. He, uh, so Liam will be in the in the seventeen. Uh, obviously, we had two lads ill last week, and all Jake Moe and Carl Awesome. So hopefully they're fitting well. The both should be trained tonight. Uh, yeah, Tom Wilk was good news. Tom Wilk uh, he went to the fracture clinic last Thursday, and fortunately there's no there's no fracture. So instead of it being a eight or ten week injury, it could only be now a two or three week injury. So I'm not sure if the town game is going to be a bit too early for Tom. I'll not. I'll, I'll reassess that next week. But he'll definitely be fit sooner rather than later so there's a bit of good news there regarding Chris I spoke to Chris today Chris Taylor uh, he's he's had his scan last Tuesday so it takes about a week to get the scan results back so next Monday to Tuesday we'll probably know the extent that Chris is injured so touch wood it's, it, it won't be too bad for Chris but we'll have to wait and see on the scan and of course just looking forward to, to, to Saturday's game um, you know it's, it's a bit of a bit of a three heat it's a cup game uh, and you know, like you say, can take us only eighty minutes away from from Challenge Cup final there. Yeah, it, it is, it is, and like I say, with the squad, I, I I have I will probably rest a couple of lads this week in certain positions because uh, they have got knocks. I'm not going to play anybody and put them at risk of missing the, the the working game the week after. But yeah, like you say, John, it, Sheffield gives a good towel and down there to be fair. I know a guy got sent off, but they were they were a good side before. You know what I mean? The others been back a couple of times before a guy got sent off. Uh, the, the forwards are good. They play well round the rook. The nine's really good. Ali Alifia, whatever you call him, and and obviously we've got Thackeray on in edges. I watched the, some of the clips against Featherston at the weekend, and, and they were really good against Featherston. They, they, they caused Featherston quite a lot of problems. So they are a good side, mate. So we've got to go down there and be proper on form, like we were the first half at Halifax. But we need to do that for eighty minutes. And like you say, I know the draw, the, the semi final, you're the weight lead, but 
it's another game for the for the lads in under the belt. So in course you want to win, and we're going to go down there and try and get a result the weekend. And where that takes us, we'll see. We're going to take a minute to where we, we don't get there. I don't know, but we'll uh, we'll just text that as it comes, mate.